Well, hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Geek Acres. It's been a while since I did a video from my van. It's been a long time since I camped in my van. But that will be coming this summer. Good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. I just thought as I today venture to my dental appointment, that's always exciting. Like everybody else, you guys, when I get up in the morning, I check my phone. And I check my emails, I check my messages, I uh, check YouTube. And YouTube always has recommendations on my main page. And everybody sees them and everybody's got different recommendations. But for some reason in my recommendations, and I don't even watch these videos. I mean, I've watched a couple, but not all the time. You know kind of staying up on things going on in the world and that and the uh, number one thing that's coming up and absolutely flooding my recommendations are all these videos regarding the immigrant crisis in this country all these illegal people flooding into the United States and it's getting out of hand and it's getting to be a humongous problem and all these states are coming together to do things about it. And it reminded me of something. You know, in my 53 years of being on this planet, I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, I've experienced a lot. And through the decades and, and the generations, there have always been issues and turmoil and problems. And somehow, People still manage to get through it, and then it's on to the next issue, the next problem at hand. I mean, you look back in history, there's always been things going on, and there's always been trouble, there's always been war, there's always been unrest and uncertainty, and people get so caught up in this stuff to where it affects their daily lives because they just immerse themselves in this type of news on a daily basis, and that's never healthy for anybody to do. I do not recommend doing that. So when I see these recommendations, I just scroll and scroll and just read the, the title of these videos. And it's all just garbage, you guys. I don't click on these videos. I don't watch them because I get the gist of the story. They're all going to talk about the same thing. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's just nothing we can do about it. I mean that the problem is just bigger than us. And there are those that will always deal with it, and it's up to them, and uh, we're going to just have to see how it plays out. But you know, it reminds me of how my brother used to call me on his break at work whenever he'd go out to his truck because he had one of those vapes, and he'd go out to his truck to vape. And he would call me, and he'd say, hey, Kev, what's going on? And I'd just tell him what I was up to that day. And then he would talk about, uh, I'm behind some dipshit that's going about 10 mile an hour, you guys. I'm on the bridge. He'd start talking about world events and asking my opinion as far as what I thought about uh, what was going on and stuff. And I'd give him my two cents and everything. And I, I'd always tell him, I'd say, Todd, you know, there's there's really nothing we can do about it. I says, don't, don't concern yourself with all these things and get all worked up about it. And I told him, I said, it's just not worth it. And I was right, because at the time when my brother was talking to me then about these issues, uh, little did he know he only had a year to live. Because as of last January 28th, which was just not too long ago, this past January 28th, marks the one year anniversary that my brother was killed. Man, I wish this guy would freaking move over, you freaking dipshit. Anyway, and so now my brother's dead. And he was all concerned about where the world was going. And it just goes to show you guys, no matter what happens, it does absolutely no good to fret over. You know... My thoughts are this, that the world is always going to be a terrible place. And at the same time, it's also a beautiful place. And so it's like, 
if you think about it, that a sewage treatment plant still has a beautiful sunrise shine on it every morning. And it's up to you if you want to focus on the sewage plant or the beautiful sunrise that's coming up over the horizon just past it. What would you rather give your attention to? You got to look at the beauty in the world and find things that make you happy and shut the news off. Don't listen to that crap. We know who's trying to destroy this country. And we're all going to have to deal with it and make the best of it and try to combat it any way we can. But you don't want it to, you don't want to get so immersed in it to where you're getting to where you don't even enjoy life anymore. The other night, I turned on a Journey concert that was videoed back in 1978. And I was looking at the crowd. Nobody had cell phones back then. People were holding up lighters. And Steve Perry was in center stage, belting out the hits. And as I listened to that concert that was filmed back in 1978, listened to all the great songs, it reminded me of better times. And it instantly took me back to a time that, in my opinion, was so much better than today. It reminded me of the things that were around in those days, the friends that I had in those days, the great music that you could listen to all the time on the radio. And it gets my mind off current affairs today, where the world is today. And when things get bad, and the world looks like a very ugly place. I try to find things that take me away from that. Gets my mind off of it. Because it's bigger than anything I can do about it myself as an individual. I will enjoy a time on a quiet trail that meanders through the woods and just take a peaceful hike and be aware of the beauty around me and the different animals that I see and hear. Or maybe I could go and pick out my favorite bench at a park where I like to go and visit and have a snack and just enjoy the scenery around me. Because there's a lot of things in the world that I miss that are gone. And it's both people and establishments, places I used to frequent that no longer exist. Not only are they closed down, a lot of them are gone. The building doesn't even exist. It's a parking lot now of places I used to go. I remember going to bowling alleys with my friends and those bowling alleys no longer exist. It was like a, a different world and it seemed like it was a thousand years ago. It seemed like it was so long ago that it, it almost wasn't real. Almost like it was a dream and I never really lived it because it was that long ago. Hard to believe. But as the world deteriorates and crumbles and falls apart around us, you gotta hang on to the side of it and the part of it that is still good and the things that make you feel good. Because like my brother, none of us, including myself, know how long we have. And I'm here to tell you right now, my friend, that we're gonna leave this world one day and we're gonna no longer be here just like that bowling alley or that, that one establishment or that diner or that car we once used to own that we loved so much, now rotting away in a junkyard somewhere with just a memory. So focus on the road you're on and focus on the door that you're gonna be going through, where you're heading. Because in the end, that's the only thing that matters. And if you get distracted by things that are on the side of the road or off the side of the trail, and you don't focus on where you're heading, it's easy to get lost. And it's easy to just lose your way in a crazy, chaotic world. Focus on the things that you love, the things that are important, the things that matter, and the things that make you happy. And forget about the cancerous depressing things that are going on in this world that we can't do a damn thing about. It's not healthy to focus on that stuff. It's not healthy to fill your day with it. 
you got to look at the positive things and you've got to understand and realize and take faith in the fact that God is the one that's in control and he says do not worry for I will take care of it he will take care of it he is the one that's aware of what's going on at all times through all time in history he knows how to handle it and he knows how to deal with it and we don't I'm telling you right now you guys I'd go absolutely crazy if I immersed my life every day in the garbage and the filth and the absolute insanity that's going on in this country nowadays but like history if you look back there's always been insanity going back to the 60s they had segregation they had they had Vietnam they had all these uprisings. They had all these protests. I mean, there's there's always going to be something. That's just the way this world rolls. There's always going to be something. And yet it's a temporary place. That's only going to last as long as your favorite bowling alley, your favorite car. One day it'll be gone. You'll be gone. I'll be gone. And who knows? We may not even have any memory of this place. I'm kind of hoping I don't. And I like to uh, take refuge in the fact that maybe, just maybe it's possible that maybe one day I'll see my friends again, I'll see relatives again, maybe I'll see my brother again, maybe I'll get to talk to all of them again and reunite. I like to believe that will happen one great day. If it don't, it don't. But if one thing I do know is that this world one day will be a thing of the past and all the things that you concern yourself with about it regarding it will no longer matter or be an issue so it's a temporary like wound in your side that one day will be healed to never bother you again focus on the sewage treatment center or focus on the sunrise the choice is yours man I know what I'm going to focus on, and it's not going to be the shit. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.